Somalian Studio News tonight. We have Somalian Studio News tonight. We have so welcome aboard the Jet today my wonderful viewers to the studio. Today we are going to be recording our live session as we play. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that using the virtual DJ software, especially if you are using only the keyboard. Most of the time people have challenges on how to go about it. I'm going to be explaining everything in detail, simple and straightforward. So if you are just new to the channel, please there's a video, I have a couple of videos where I talked about so many things. Before we continue, I have already have a video where I talked about is putting up your playlist, setting up your tempo, and doing a lot of things, and how to map the virtual DJ software to make it very easy for you to do this. So, if you believe that you've done, you've checked all that, and you already built that particular learning process, and you are now at this particular stage. So, for us to record our live session as we are playing now, first we need to understand how the recording is being done. The recording is done in different formats. I'm going to be showing you the format very soon. But before then, let's go. You first go to your document. That means your Microsoft, sorry, your document folder on your system. This is your document folder. You come to your document here, this particular document folder here. You create a folder that you want to record your session inside. In this case, I have this folder here called VDJ recording. If I double click it, this is it. These are the short ones I've done. So it's believed that you created this folder new, you create a folder, by the time you create this folder, in this very particular document or anywhere on your, of your choice within the system, you come to this particular point, these three dots here, where your configure here at the top right corner, by the time you click it, you come here and select, by the time you select, you come to your document here, by the time you come to your document here, but before you come to this very particular place, after creating that folder, make sure you close it. So that it will allow you permission to access it. By the time you create it, by the time you close it, you will now come to this very point on your document on the virtual DJ. You put in the file name of your choice. Let's assume I want to put DJ Mix. DJ Mix, let's say, let's say Life. I'm not call it Life. I put in the file name. By the time I put in the file name, I click see. So it will allow you permission now. It is going to this very particular point. You select the file format that you want. These are the different file formats. MP4, Web4. This Web4 is for website. That means you want to embed it on the website. This is waveform, the original waveform, FLC. So these are different different file formats. But for this, this you will picking the MP3. The MP3 is very easy and it's one of the most convenient uh, recording format that we have in our present day world. That ensures that you can easily transport it at every platform. So the MP3 in picking, or if you want to record the entire video of the session, this is it too. This one will allow you access, to, and there are other qualities that you pick in each of these so that you have a very good, nice quality of the file that you want. By the time you are done with this, you click save, you will now click yes, and you will now close it. So at this particular point, it has put it there. And if you want to record, you click record here. You see, at this very particular point, it's recording our session. Once I click record, it's recording. So it means at this very point is already recording and in this particular point is not going to pick my voice if i want it to pick my voice as part of the recording i'm going to also show you right now so we are going to stop it for now by the time we stop it we will now come to escalate so for the recording too i also have a shortcut key if you are using my mapping this very key gives you an automatic shortcut to the recording so while doing the recording you come to this particular point if i come to this master point you see this very point this is where it shows you if it is recording and it will show you this is for the broadcast that is if you want to broadcast this is just normal recording so if i click this particular point you see you see it's, it's showing me that it's already recording so you can clearly see it here it's recording so if i want to stop it i use this very same key so this key takes care of toggling the recording and the off recording then if you want to record including your mic voice you click this particular point this is where where your recording of the mic will be done but before you go into it you come to this very particular point you click come to this very particular point at this option you come to this controller sorry you come to this very audio setting this very particular point of the audio setting you see where it says recording mic click it then you come to this down part here input where it writes input you pick any mic that you want in my own case i'm going to be picking the internal mic or you can pick the external mic or whatever mic you want in my own case i'm going to pick this hd pro 
I'm picking the microphone for my own uh, camera that is recording this particular session. The keyboard, this camera, this very camera here, that is what I'm picking. So it's going, as I'm doing the recording, it's going to pick my voice alongside the recording. By the time I click play, apply, and now close it. You will notice something now. By the time I want to record it, by the time I click on, so you can clearly hear it. It's echoing out. So in this case, if you are doing this, you have to turn down the mic volume. So I'm turning down the mic volume so that you can hear everything clearly. I'm going to run a sample now. After the recording, I'm going to record it now. This is one, two, three, four, five. So it's already recording. You get to see that my voice is coming on this particular beat at this particular point in time. So I can turn it off. I can turn it on. I can turn it off. I can turn it on. This, this particular one does it. So this very point does it. This. So this shortcut key I'm using to bring down this beat while I'm talking and raising it up will do the magic for us. Get to see it. By the time I use control, this same uh, hyphen that does the turn on the recording and off is going to be going taking our voice down and offing the mic. It will turn our voice down and on the mic. When we do it again, when we use apply, when we click it again, it's going to turn off our voice and raise the volume. Watch. Take note of this particular point. You will notice it now. See. So you see. So you've seen it. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to take it to the master point so that you get to see how the volume is being controlled at this particular point in time. Again, see. Watch. Just watch. You can clearly see it. So you see, it brings down the volume and allow our voice to run on the beat and if we press it again it turn our voice off turn off the mic and allow the beat to be high at this particular so that is how the magic is being done if you need more clarification of this please let me know at the comment section or you can contact me through any of my social media handle so that you get to appreciate what i'm talking about i'm going to play this particular sample i just recorded now of the virtual dj so that you get to appreciate what i'm talking about So we are going to play it now this short sample although it is audio you get to appreciate it now so let me show you something now let's go to that particular file let's go to that particular folder now this is vdj recording so it's going to be the fit one let's play it now so that you get to see it Okay. So we'll open it now. You get to see it. So let's play it now. Just start playing. You get to see that my voice is coming on this particular beat at this particular point in time. I can turn it on. I can turn it on. So this very point does it. This so this shortcut key I'm using to bring down this beat while I'm talking and raising it up will do the magic for us. You get to see it. By the time I use control, this same uh, hyphen that does the turn on the recording and off is going to be going, taking our voice down and offing the mic. It will turn our voice down and on the mic. When we do it again, when we use apply, when we click it again, it's going to turn off our voice and raise the volume. Watch. Take note of this particular point. You notice it now. See. So you see. 
news tonight. So you've seen it. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to take it to the master point so that you get to see how the volume is being. So you can clearly see the difference. You can clearly see how my voice went down and the beat was up. My voice went off and the beat was on and my voice the beat went down and my voice was over it. So you can get to appreciate it. Thank you very much for being there. <laughs>